Hey everyone, it's Jonathan from Breeder Circle. Um, here I am with another video. I've been getting a lot of questions about mochas. And there's been a lot of speculation with different things happening with them, so I thought I'd just clear the ground a little bit and then maybe show you guys a little variation of what they can look like, the different variations they are, and a little bit more about them. Um, they, they're in the same Blue-Eyed Lucy complex as Lessers, Mojaves, Butters, uh, Het Russos, so any of those combinations can make a blue-eyed snake. There's also now, if you guys have seen the Elixir, which is the mystic to a mocha line uh, breeding, but it has to be a mirror line. From what we've seen, I don't know who the maker was, but someone had made one, and I'm not sure what line of mocha it was, but I think there's one by the snake keeper. If I'm not mistaken, anything happens online. And what came out was something that looked like a leche, and that's basically more of a white snake with basically a little bit of pink on it, which was what Nerd hit on last year, which was the uh, Mocha times the Phantom. So that's what came out with them. So there's another one. Then a year earlier uh, last year hit on the Elixirs from a couple different breedings. It wasn't just one, so it wasn't like some sporadic thing that came out. And they were purple with a pattern that looked pretty cool. You guys could look those up online. But this is these right here that I work on currently are the Amir line mochas. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of what they can do and what they can look like and why we use certain ones to produce maybe lighter looking snakes or maybe even darker looking ones. So <clears throat> first of all, we're going to start off with the very first is what they make with another Het Blue Eye Lucy. So this right here would basically be a Mocha times lesser breeding. And as you can see, if you do a Mojave to Mojave breeding, the Blue Eye Lucys will have a gray head. Here, they have more of a transparent pinkish stripe on them. You know, they're very beautiful. I definitely like the look of them. There's, you know, every Blue Eye Lucy has a little bit of a different look, but these are pretty, pretty nice, pretty transparent, the little line and kind of pinkish and fully white. Uh, here, we're going to take you to another few things right here. We're going to show you what a uh, mocha looks like originally. And these are some that I would give them the name of caramel. You guys might hear me talking about them a little bit more because they have that golden yellow color. And... That's why I call them the caramel line mochas. You know, it's the same line, but remember, there's always a lot of hidden genes playing and play with different genetics. You're going to start to see that a lot more with a lot of morphs. So that's that one right there. Um, one that I was very surprised about was the yellow belly mochas, which I am in love with myself. I mean, they're fully golden, a burgundy-ish color, yellow color. This one's extremely clean. You can see all the yellow belly underneath it, but it's a very good looking morph. So I can't wait to put it with other things that we're gonna be having coming up in the next season or two. So let's go down a little bit further down the line and show you guys. This is a bigger sized uh, caramel mocha with that golden yellowish color that they have. So imagine putting these with Enchi, imagine putting them with Pastel, with Fire, you know, there's gonna be some really cool combos with the ones that have this uh, coloration on them. So here's another one a little bit younger. You can see the different colors on the side. Not as much, but that's basically the ones that we call caramel. All right, here's another one that I'm kind of a fan of the dark stuff. And this is actually a very dark line uh, mocha. This would actually be very good to put with a Mystic, because Mystic, the darker the pattern is with the het blue eye that you're putting it with, it will show more of the purple. So this right here would be something that you would obviously want to put with a Mystic so you could get some great looking elixirs. You know, so the very dark color, a little bit of a black back, you know, mighty different from what we have over there. Alrighty. Here's one of my favorite girls right here. I just call her a super light mocha this is just a very light colored mocha female and look at her whole entire color this girl is extremely light you know yellowish you know almost like if she was like head for orange ghost she doesn't have any of that in her line but she is really nice very light color so imagine with the combos what you can make with her depending what you put on them so there goes her all right i think one of them went to the bathroom in there a little bit Okay, here's another gene that I'll probably be talking about in another video. I don't have enough time to do it on this one, but this is the Harlequin Mocha. And Harlequins, there's also a lot of talk about them, so like I said, I'll try to come up with a video in the next week or two, maybe even sooner, about what is going on with Harlequins. But as you can see the difference with these, you'll see the dual stripe on this one right here. And then with a lot of the Harlequin stuff, you're gonna see a lot of floating alien heads. 
Okay, you also see holes in the very top of what's going on on the lines down here. And then they usually have a reduced pattern, flames coming up the sides. It's a look that we look for, but a give and take is basically that stripe on the top with the little holes, kind of almost like bullet holes on the top. You know, great looking grill we have right there. Um, so anyways, that's our take on the mochas. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can text me or anything like that. Find us on facebook.com forward slash Breeder Circle or our YouTube channel, Breeder Circle, which is together. And uh, anything you guys have or any ideas for any videos, please be free to give us a shout. And thanks a lot.